Hello everyone, my name is Rui Wang, and I'm a PhD student of the Computer Vision Group of TUM. Today I'm glad to present you our work, Direct Photometric Alignment of Shape Priors for Visual Vehicle Pose and Shape Estimation. It is done together with Nan Yang, York Dukler, and Daniel Kramers. As a starting point, we would like to mention our motivations for this work. In recent years, we have seen fast progresses on large-scale visual slam. In addition to accurately tracking the camera, some slam systems can also deliver high-quality 3D reconstructions. This is especially the case for direct methods. Two recent methods, Stereo DSO and DVSO, are shown here. These progresses open a door to visual scene understanding as they can be used to capture the 3D geometry of the environment. To move forward, several open problems remain to be addressed. For example, how can semantic information be integrated to the 3D map to make them more practically useful? Also, instead of raw point clouds, can we find more descriptive and compact map formats? These questions can be categorized under the topic of semantic mapping. A widely adopted pipeline can be summarized in four steps. Starting from gathering an input image sequence, structure from motion or slam is used to generate a point cloud. The point cloud is then semantically labeled, which can be done either by segmenting the point cloud directly or by semantic segmentation on images and back projecting the labels to 3D. Next, the labeled point cloud is further abstracted and described, giving us a semantic HD map which is a compact and accurate representation of the scene. Instead of following the common pipeline, in this work we raise the question, is it possible to estimate the final HD map directly from the input data? This could provide several benefits, such as we can utilize more information directly from the images, we can also avoid introducing the errors from all the intermediate steps. In this work, we show that such direct approach is possible. Estimating 3D properties directly from images is a general topic. We limit our scope by two points to make it more feasible. First, we only consider the class vehicle. We believe it is an interesting class for demonstrating our idea, as cars are quite challenging for vision due to their reflecting surfaces. Second, we focus on the single stereo frame setting and leave the extension to multiple frames as a future work. Under these two settings, the goal of our work now can be summarized as to estimate the 3D poses and shapes of cars directly from images. In this slide, we will give an overview of our system. As input, our method takes in the stereo image pair, an initial pose and shape of the car, and the object segmentation masks. Based on the inputs, we build up three energy terms. The first one is a photometric consistency term. The idea is that for a pixel in the left image, we can find its corresponding 3D point by looking for the intersection point of the ray with the car surface. This point can then be projected to the right image, and the photometric residual measures the color difference. The second term is a silhouette alignment term, for which we project the car to the image based on its current pose and shape. We measure the consistency of the projection mask with the input segmentation mask. This is done for both the left and the right images. In the last term, we integrate some domain priors. For example, a car can only locate on the road surface. Besides, the shape of a car cannot diverge too much from the mean shape of the class. We formulated the final energy function by summing up the three energy terms and optimize it using the Gauss-Newton method. As output, our method delivers the refined 3D pose and shape of the car. At bottom, you can see the residuals after the optimization. To describe the 3D shape of a car using a few parameters, we use the PCA embeddings of car shapes. More specifically, the shape of each car can be represented by a 3D sign distance function. By discretization, it is converted into a voxel grid which can be linearized as a 1D vector. Stacking the shape vectors for many cars, PCA is performed 
and the shape of any car can be computed as a linear combination of the principal components plus the mean shape. In our case, we use the first five principal components, which are denoted as v in the equation. Their corresponding coefficients are denoted as z. Phi is the shape vector of a car. On the right, you can see by modifying the coefficients, the model can deform to represent different car shapes. To define the silhouette alignment term, we start from the input image. First, an object silhouette can be obtained from the input segmentation mask. Secondly, based on the current object pose and shape, the object can be projected to the image, giving us another silhouette. If the pose and shape are accurate, the two silhouettes should nicely overlap. Now we need to answer the questions, how do we formulate the process of projecting the shape model to image and how to formulate the consistency between the silhouettes? We define the shape projection score for a pixel as pi in equation one, which is a function of the current object shape phi, its current pose t, and the pixel coordinate p. The score is computed by sampling 3D points along the ray and accumulating the signed distances at these points. As a result, pixels with the projection get higher scores close to 1 and 0 for those outside the projection. The consistency between the two silhouettes is measured as the residues formulated at equation 2, where PFG and PBG are foreground and background probabilities from the object segmentation. Summing up the residues for all the pixels near the object, we get the silhouette alignment term. Due to the ambiguity between 3D shape and pose to the 2D projection, optimizing the silhouette alignment term alone may converge to undesired local minima. In this example, in a few iterations, while the shape projection is more aligned with object segmentation, the 3D model is pulled away from its correct location. To resolve this issue, we add the photometric consistency term. Starting from a pixel in the left image, we look for its corresponding 3D point by searching along the ray. Based on the current object pose and shape, the intersection point can be found by ray casting. The 3D point can then be projected to the right image, and a photometric residual can be obtained by comparing the pixel colors in the two images. Summing up the residuals for all the pixels close to the object, and guarding it by the Hubo norm and an image gradient based weighting factor omega p, we get the photometric consistency term. The key of optimizing using the Gauss Newton method is the Jacobians. In this work, there are two challenges on deriving the Jacobians. First, our shape is implicitly embedded in the SDF voxel grid. Second, when warping the pixels from the left to the right image, their depth is an implicit function of the object pose and shape. As a result, we don't have closed form expressions for both the silhouette alignment and the photometric consistency terms. As one of the main contributions of our work, we give detailed derivation of all the required Jacobians. Please refer to our paper for details. In the following, we pick some experiment results to demonstrate the effectiveness of our method. For shape estimation, we compare our 3D reconstruction to the results of two stereo matching methods. ELAS is a handcrafted pipeline, and PSMNet is a recent deep learning based approach. The advantage of bringing shape priors to the 3D reconstruction pipeline is clear, especially for objects with non Lambertian surfaces like cars. For pose estimation, we select several recent deep learning based 3D object detectors. We use their results as input to our method. The experiment is conducted on the Kitty 3D object benchmark, and we list the average precisions under different settings in the table. As can be seen here, our method can boost the pose accuracy for all the tested methods. For some metrics, the improvements are quite significant. As qualitative results, we select some images from the benchmark and overlay our results on them. It can be seen that even with heavy occlusions, our method can successfully estimate the shapes and poses for most of the cards appearing in the images. Please visit our product page for a video demonstrating how our method works in practice. 
Thank you for your attention.